Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here checking in on the energy. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for being patient with me today, you guys. They're doing something to the internet. I don't know what, but it's coming and going. So um, my readings are going out a little bit late today, but it can't be helped. It's got nothing to do with me on my end. So anyway, thank you so much. Thank you to all of my subscribers. A big warm welcome to everybody new here. Welcome. All right. So yeah, look. Oh, so there's a person from your past that is doing a lot of daydreaming, to, especially today. Like this is current energy. They're dreaming of a commitment with you, um, growing old together, right? Um, getting married, how beautiful their life would be, having babies with you, making a family with you. Uh, that's, this is what they're thinking about. This is somebody um, just doing a lot of wishing, uh, praying for this, okay? Um, yeah what song is that something about um there's no man more terrified than the one who's about to lose you like they're they're um they're kind of counting their blessings before they get them i feel like they're wishing for you they're trying to manifest this beautiful life with you they're kind of praying to god don't let this good thing be taken away from me okay I don't know what song that is. If you guys can drop a look, if you can drop a comment, that would be awesome. Let me know what song that is that I'm picking up on. Um, yeah, this person is in love with you. I feel like they're talking to God. They're like, God, yes, I do love the collective. Okay, I do. Kind of like somebody who wants a blessing from the Father, right? Please, please let me have this. Please bring this person back into my life. This person, um, I feel like they've, they can't take being away from you anymore. It's starting to drive them crazy. Um, you're all that they think about. Having a future with you, building a family with you, um, being in love with you. This is all this person can think about. I feel like they can't focus on anything else. They may even want to like take the day off. This person is having a hard time even working. I feel like they may take a couple of days off just to pray. Please don't let me lose the, the collective. Please don't let me lose this love. All right. Because you are literally all that they can think about here. Um, yeah, I'm getting the sense that this person can't even go to work. Um, yeah, they can't even go to work. And here's the thing, you they know that you don't you may not feel the same way about them. It looks to me like you don't want to have anything to do with this person anymore. Um, like you, you may you've lost respect for them. Um, yeah, you just want out of this out of this connection. Um I feel like you've had enough of this. You may be sensing this person doing a lot of praying for you, thinking about you. I know they're going to take some work off this week because they can't focus on anything but this. And it's like this person wants to take some time off just to pray. Just to pray to have you back in their life. Okay? I feel like this is no communication. It has been. You've been working on yourself. You're in Empress Energy very abundant stable independent just fine on your own okay you don't need anybody's energy um or you don't need anybody in in your energy the in the energy that you're in <laughs> i don't know why that was so hard for me to say sorry about that yeah you're working on your money your finances you want this new beginning here that's what you're trying to birth as a new beginning okay and you just don't want this person back in because they've hurt you. There's so much hurt in between you, okay? Yeah, but they're, um, you may see this person as a fool. This is the fool card in this deck. They're about to come towards you. They're going to take that risk. They know that you're trying to avoid them or you're ignoring communication with them, but they're triggered here. 
um, to come towards you. This is somebody who's, yeah, they've been trying to telepathically communicate. They're listening to some old love songs. So um, a song maybe that you two have shared in the past or just really sappy love songs. They're really trying to connect with you on a telepathic level. And they're trying to connect with the divine at the same time. So they can, they're really trying hard to manifest you back into their life. But you, you, it's like you don't want to have anything to do with it. When this person crosses your mind, you'll try to distract yourself with something else to get them, to get them off of your mind. If this person is texting you, calling you, you're ignoring those messages. I'm really seeing that you're just kind of done. And you can feel them maybe pulling on your energy a lot. And you're trying to disconnect from that altogether. Yeah, you know this person wants to come in and talk to you, but you'd, you're, you're not wanting to talk to them. You're ascending. You're leveling up in your life. You're at a whole new level. Okay. Um... Oh, this person wants this commitment with you so badly. But this was, you see this person as someone toxic, someone who was giving to others in the past, breadcrumbed you, possibly chose someone else over you, hurt you and left you behind to heal on your own. Okay, they, they're coming back in way too, way too slowly. This is, it's taken this person way too long to come back in with a legitimate offer, but they're coming in. They're very guarded because they know the kind of pain that they put you through. They know how they treated you. Okay, but they, um, they want their happiness. I feel like this is a confession as well. They, um, they want to confess how they feel. They want to apologize for what they've done. Yeah, this person, they were in and out of your life. Player energy, yes, that's the truth. But now they're in their emotions. And I feel like this person has been working on themselves um, to boss up into the emperor. Okay, so I'm feeling like this person wants to put away their player ways and their toxic ways. They do not want to treat you that way again. Okay. Now they're coming forward after a very long time in separation to confess how they feel, tell you how they feel. Um, yeah, and uh, they want to, yeah, they, they're, they're feeling like they're ready for this, con for this connection, this commitment. They know they've got to be serious. They know they've got to put in the effort. Okay. I feel like this person wants to come in and, and apologize and get you back, but you, you're at the point where you've had enough, man. They've done too much. Yep, they're getting ready to come in and talk. Okay, see them tapping on this blade down here. That's them wanting to communicate, thinking about what they're going to say. I feel like they're doing a lot of praying. Please don't let me lose these good things is what I just heard. I think that's that song. Um, yeah, and I don't know what song that is. So if you could drop a comment. Yeah, they, uh, they've been in separation for way too long. It's been like possibly up to three, three or four years for some of you. But they're getting ready. They may be looking for the right opportunity or they may be um, trying to get the courage, I feel to, to um, come forward. This person may need to travel to come and see you. I feel like they know that they have to face you and they're scared, okay? They know they've got to face you. So this isn't going to be telepathic communication. This is, this is not going to be text messages and phone calls. This person knows they've got to face you. They've got to come in right Okay, they've got to come in right. They feel like they're ready for this connection. Okay, yeah. They want you back. And they, they cannot get you off of their mind. 
is really what I'm feeling like here. They're looking at um, maybe this person in the past, they could have been very afraid of commitment, period. I feel like they were, they had that in and out energy. They'd come in when it felt like it was getting too serious, they would bail, they would run away. Okay, but now they're looking at a commitment with you as the most beautiful thing ever. Okay, seriously, this is somebody with a new perspective on building something solid with someone. Okay, so their whole perspective of relationships have changed altogether. And you're the only one that this person wants. They only see a future with you. Okay? Yeah. And they're ready. They feel like they're ready here. Okay? So I, I'm, I'm getting that this person is going to, they're about to approach you and you're going to see them face to face. And what did I just say? They may bring flowers, they may bring a, a gift for you, but they, they want to start over. They want to start over fresh, get to know you, maybe get to know you even um, like slowly because it's been a long time since you guys have been in separation. So this is somebody who wants to, um, it's almost like they're making a first approach as feeling like a new person, okay? Feeling like um, they, they've learned a lot, but now they know what they want. They've done a lot of growing here. They're coming in with this confession too to tell you all of this and tell you how they feel. And they, they want to take it slow. I feel like this person wants to take it slow, but they're not afraid of committing anymore, at least not to you. You're the only one, okay? I feel like you're the only one that they want. Yes, yeah, see, they want to commit. Look at this. They want to commit. That's the Ten of Pentacles here. And they see you as the only one that they could spend the rest of their life with. Okay, they're daydreaming about it. They're manifesting you heavy. They're really trying to pull you back into their life. Okay, and this person, I feel like they have gone through a major change. You know, um, they, they had this, uh, I don't want to say it was player energy, because I feel like they weren't, they, uh, they weren't trying to leave a trail of heartache behind them everywhere they went they just that that's how it happens when you come in you start a relationship with someone and then you take off and leave them and abandon them okay uh, but this person they were afraid when things got serious they got scared and they ran okay now they're they feel like they're ready for a commitment and you're the only one that they want to spend the rest of their life with. All right? Let's see what the oracles have for you today. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? Fork in the road. Yeah, this person, I just feel like it's a pit in the gut is really what that, what that felt like. Yes, because they know that you have the power to bring this dream, this wish, um, to a crashing halt with one word. If you said no to this person, I feel like it would give them a tower moment. Yeah, chaos and conflict. They're also very worried about how you feel about them now. Um, are you still angry? Are you upset? Is there going to be a fight? Is there going to be an argument? See, they're worried about that because this person knows that they abandoned you very quickly. I'm telling you, they, they, it got serious, they got scared. This person was afraid of commitment. Okay, and they left very quickly and left you feeling out in the cold, orphaned and alone and brokenhearted. This person knows how they made you feel, okay? They know. They're feeling the weight of that. They don't want to make you feel this way again, ever, okay? And I feel like they, they have been trying to manifest you back in. You can, you can pick up on this energy. This person is about to come in and try to bring peace 
to this connection. Okay, this is an apology. This is a confession. This is a, please, can we just, can I just get to know you all over again? Kind of energy. Can we change this? Okay. Yeah, can we get, I'm ready to be loyal. I'm ready to be dedicated now. I'm ready to be committed. That's what this person is going to say. Yeah, and I feel like that choice is going to be up to you. Some of you will want this person back. Some of you have had enough. I, I'm seeing that this could go this could go either way. Some of you will want this person back, but some of you are happier being single, okay, and um, being open for new love. So take it how it resonates with you, but you are about to get, like, this is the confession of a lifetime. This is, um, this is your person wanting to start over, right? They want to start over from scratch. You know, like, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised if this person told you that and said, Hi, my name is so-and-so. Nice to meet you. You know what I mean? That's kind of what they want to do. They want to start from there. They just want a chance, okay? So the choice is going to be up to you, but here they come. Get ready. Anyway, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.